Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Got a customer that uh, has got a 1710 vertical fold planter um, on a 7230R and he's never planted cotton before. And he's got 70 acres of cotton that he wants to plant this year. So it'll be his first experience in running a planter. So we're gonna help get him going here. And we've got a 250 CompuTrack monitor for this planter and we need to get gps speed to that monitor so i've got a cable that we're going to hook up we might have to do a little bit of calibrating here to get gps speed and uh, we're going to get this uh, planter up and rolling in the field and we'll check back in with you in a few minutes we're looking at this uh, 7230r with this 1710 planter and we're basically our problem was we were needing to get speed over here to this uh, computer track 250 monitor and so we ordered this harness here um, out of parts. It's an AA66780. And basically that ties us in on a 7R tractor on the corner posts into this GPS port here to get GPS speed down to the connector of our computer track 250 to get GPS speed. Okay, so we do that. And then on these 7Rs, you have to pull the power strip off of the right hand side console okay and when you pull that back you can pull out a short jumper harness here that has two cords one marked gps okay and then the other marked radar okay and so we basically have to swap those two because these tractors most of the time are plugged into the radar so we swapped the radar for the gps so that we could get gps speed over to our computer track 250 Okay, and then after doing that, we did find that we didn't have the correct speed. Okay, and so I was trying to remember how to do that, and basically we went into the setup select tab. Okay, and we dropped down to the distance cal, and we basically just played with that distance cal number until we got the speed to match the tractor speed on the corner post display. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish setting this planter up and get in the field here and see if we can plant a little cotton. Now I got Scott Roy, our customer here that's going to be planting some cotton and um, we're getting the planter set up, checked our depth and made sure that we've got everything correct on the planter and on the spacing. So uh, this is Scott Roy, our customer here and uh, Scott, tell us a little bit about uh, why you bought this farm. Well, had no intentions of buying anything for a while because we just thought how we'd get down here and kind of settle in for a bit and this place came up for sale and, and uh, we, we bought it and it was tired, needed some help and, uh, and now we're into planting cotton, can't find anyone else to do any work, it's not because they're lazy around here, it's just that they're all very very overwhelmed yeah yeah they're excellent farmers but they it's a tough world and, and the only way to get this done is for me to um, invest in a few things and expensive things um, and dive into it um, i have some some farming background I used to farm alfalfa in wyoming and uh grasses but this is certainly a different a little bit different ball game different, different ball game a lot more expense um, something that has to be carefully carefully uh, monitored and planted yeah yeah and that's where you came in so yeah kind of help me out that's pretty awesome so we're gonna we're gonna plant a little cotton here and scott was also sharing that he bought this as just something to do too because he likes to stay busy doing stuff and, don't and be bored. yeah done an awesome job don't want to be bored and uh, so we're going to plant a little cotton we may get out and look at our seed depth and uh, kind of show you what's going on we're going to start a new track right yep we're going to start a new track set up set set track. track there you go we're going to go new method a b name it cotton you're going to override it's what it's saying right? okay okay so we got the 1710 planter going in the field now planting cotton i got caleb over here driving wave at everybody caleb 
okay and uh, he's getting a little bit of seat time in the in the planter as well as the customer and so i'm going to take see if you can catch a good shot of the display there it's a little hard to see but we're doing about 25 to 26,000 seats per acre and uh, we got our auto track set up and and so we're we're in plant cotton mode and putting the seed right down in the moisture where it needs to be and got pretty nice planting conditions and uh, got good good temperatures for heat units so we ought to we ought to be doing a pretty good job of getting this field planted and so we we're going to finish up here and return this uh tractor and planter back to the customer thanks for uh, watching our videos and hope that it helps you along the way um, if you need some information on gps speed for a planter um, you can watch this video and i think that'll explain how to set that up pretty good on a on a 7r or 8r tractor and uh, so larry the tractor guy signing out hey guys check out larry the tractor guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, already, already burning me out. Some bloopers. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.